Hi guys, it's Carissa and I'm here for a keto update. I have some new products that I've been enjoying that I want to share with you. I do get a lot of views on these videos that aren't necessarily people who watch the other videos that I make. I do only count net carbs and I try to stay under 30 daily, but I really don't stress too hard about it. I do take cheat days, um, sometimes they're planned, sometimes they're not. Sometimes I do really well all day and then I get thrown off at dinner or with plans with friends. That's not to say that I'm not trying, but in my opinion, this is something I want to do long term. And it took me several years to put on the weight that I'm in, so I'm okay with it taking me a few years to come off. I want to be realistic about it. I want my approach to be relaxed. Um, not so relaxed that I fail or feel like I failed, but I also don't want to feel like I'm being punished all the time by having chosen to change my lifestyle. Far too often I feel like people are too hard on themselves. They're expecting a loss every single week on the scale. They're expecting results every day even sometimes. And I think that that's a really unhealthy way to form a mindset about changing your life. In the last couple of weeks I have been struggling a little bit with emotional overeating or um, even just blurring the boundaries of what I normally would think are, is okay. I know it's easier said than done in a lot of cases but if you struggle with um, binge eating or emotional eating issues or stress eating, you can't expect to just flip a switch and not do that anymore. So I'm not saying that I give myself a 100% free pass all the time, but I do really try and focus on my emotions, where I'm at mentally, um, and really evaluate myself before making certain decisions. And sometimes the decision is to just do what is considered the wrong thing. And I still think I've done really well. I think I'm in a really good place. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about that for a minute because I think that once you claim to be doing something that is... Um, like a diet or a lifestyle change and you set out to plan to lose weight, I think that you can be really hard on yourself more than anyone else. But I do know that there are people who probably come to me expecting that I'm losing crazy amounts of weight and they want a lot of details about what I do. And I just want you to know that what I do day in and day out isn't necessarily going to be right for everybody. Just for example, a few weeks ago I was eating eggs every day. Um, sometimes every time I ate I had eggs. And now I don't want to touch them <laughs> and in any form I'm not interested in eggs and I'm sure I'll come back around but that's just something to keep in mind. I think you have to be really flexible and you have to be willing to plan and also be willing to fail and be willing to need to reevaluate and kind of regroup. So just go about this in the most sensible way possible and you will find success. I can't tell you how many people I know who have started and quit so soon, so soon before they could have seen results. So I have some products here that I've been enjoying and I want to share them with you. The first one here I found at a local health food store and this is by the Dixie USA brand, the Dixie Diner, DixieDiner.com. Um, and I have enjoyed products of theirs in the past. This is the Whole Soy Nuttolets. Is there an easier way to pronounce that that I'm not understanding? Nutlets? I don't know. But it's a soy cereal. The only ingredient in it is soy flour and trace amounts of corn. And I will let you take a look at that if you're able to see it. Um, it has math, math, math. Six grams of net carbs and half a cup. And what I normally do is have a quarter cup with a little bit of almond milk. If I don't have almond milk on hand, what I'll do is pour in like... I don't know, a splash of cream, less than a tablespoon. A splash of cream and then I'll add water to it so that I can water it down and have it be more like a milk consistency. I prefer to have almond milk on hand because even though it's my least favorite of all the milks, it's the only one that I can get in a small container that isn't being flavored or having sugar added to it so that it's good for children or more appealing to children. Um, but that's the size that I want because I never go through the container fast enough. You know, I just want cereal on occasion. This is not something I'm eating every day. This is just something quick, you know, while I'm working even, so I can have a quick little bowl of cereal. If I have almond milk on hand and a little container, that's what I'll use because sometimes I'll overwater the cream and it's 
gets really soggy and really watery and then I'm wasting the cereal and I used to love cereal I was a huge shredded wheat fan just like the plain shredded wheat I was actually a big fan of all of the super bland cereals that was my favorite in fact Crispix was my ultimate favorite and it was even the littlest bit too sweet for me so this is good for me if you're the kind of person who really liked I don't know Lucky Charms or something you might not like this but um, just the act of eating cereal almost is so comforting to me and I don't know it, it, I enjoy it. Next is pumpkin seeds and these I purchased, this is a repurchase, I received these in a keto crate and I love them. I love that they're spicy. I also have the just plain dry roasted ones here um, and they're good. They're a good substitute for when you want nuts and you don't want something like peanuts or something that's too high in carbs. But it is almost pumpkin season so I will be roasting some pumpkin seeds. I know that they are a little bit higher in carbs with the shell still on them, but that's how I prefer them, and I don't care. I would rather have less of them and be able to enjoy them how I like them. This has been one of my new favorite things. It's very filling. It's not so fun to eat. I always feel like I have to brush my teeth afterwards. But these are flax crackers by Foods Alive, and these are basically just flax seed with liquid aminos and lemon juice just a very small amount made into crackers here is some of the information on the back it is technically zero net grams of carbs for five crackers I never eat five crackers though just to give you an idea this is about the size they're usually in but they are broken up they're not like a perfectly shaped cracker so for me what I do is I take a cracker like this I'd either leave it whole or break it up in a couple of pieces and put peanut butter on top of it just a thin layer of peanut butter and I have been still really liking this natural peanut butter that's just fresh ground unsalted peanuts and then I'll usually sprinkle some of these hemp hearts on uh, technically these say that they're one gram of net carbs for the entire package and even though this is is the little small two ounce package I don't I can't picture myself using a whole package of this at any point at once but I still do count what I add to my crackers as a carb. I always kind of overshoot it and I know there are people who would not want to do that but that's just how I feel com comfortable adding. I'm bad at math also so PS that's just I think the fact that it's really crunchy is very satisfying and I like the texture of the little seeds. Um, it's something I can really take my time to eat and then I like to flush it down with water afterwards and um, drink a lot of water usually after and I just think that that's win 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 all you know don't know how to wrap up this statement the last thing I've really been loving is this no cow bar by D's naturals this has nothing artificial no GMO it's vegan low carb no sugar added gluten dairy soy and lactose free and this is the mint chocolate chip flavor it has two net grams of carbs and it is my new favorite bar. Um, I always like to have some kind of a bar around. Quest bars are kind of a no-go anymore because they do sort of make me feel like I need to keep eating afterwards. Even sometimes I would feel like I wanted to eat another Quest bar immediately after finishing it and I just don't think that that's an okay reaction to have to anything. This does come in two other flavors. There's a peanut butter or something, peanut butter chip or something, I don't know, peanut butter and blueberry and I did not care for the blueberry it was super gritty and grainy tasting to me um, and the blueberry flavor was really fake which is fine because I love blueberry flavored coffee you know that really fake like blueberry chapstick flavor almost I get the blueberry coffee at Dunkin Donuts all the time I love it but the bar unfortunately the texture bothered me and the peanut butter one was just okay and I think if it was easier to buy them individually at a decent price I would probably get the other one still too but because it's so much easier and less expensive to just purchase a case and have it shipped to me that way I picked the mint chocolate chip it's my favorite I love it and it's something that's easy that I can eat. I can keep one of these in my purse so if I'm driving around or running errands and I get really hungry, I have this so I don't make any terrible decisions. Um, or I can eat it easily at my desk while I'm working. 
and I do get super thirsty after I eat one so it's kind of nice because I can down a bunch of water after this also and get a bunch of water in. How do I put this? It doesn't have as universally likable a texture and flavor as a Quest Bar does. Quest Bars are very candy bar like by comparison but I actually prefer this. I like this a lot more. So that's pretty much it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything you've been loving lately and I will talk to you next week or the week after. Let's keep this casual. <laughs> Bye.